Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 14 of Book 6. Now before we begin discussing the proposition, I just want to clarify the difference between proportional and reciprocally proportional. Let's assume we have two figures, A times B, and we have another figure with sides C and D. So what proportional means is that A is to B is equal to C is to D, or if we rewrite this, A is to C, is equal to b is to d. So this is our standard proportional definition. If we were to say the sides were reciprocally proportional, what that would mean is a times b equals c times d, or a is to c as d is to b. And you'll notice here we have b to d, and here we have the inverse and hence the word reciprocally proportional. So this is the form that is described in Euclid's proposition. So again, this is what reciprocal proportional means. So in this proposition, we start with two parallelograms, and we start with the condition that theta is equal to alpha, and in the first part of the proposition, we also assume that the area of AB is equal to the area of BC. So if theta equals, theta equals alpha and the two areas are equal, then this proportion states that the sides of these two parallelograms will be reciprocally proportional. In other words, FB times BD will be equal to EB times BG. Or, of course, in the way that Euclid stated it, it was db to be is equal to bg to fb. The second part of this proposition is very similar, but it states that if alpha and theta are equal, and if the two sides, or if the sides of the two parallelograms are reciprocally proportional, then that implies that the areas are the same. So again, Part one, if the areas are the same, then the sides are reciprocally proportional. Part two of the proof, if the sides are reciprocally proportional, then the areas are the same. So let's start with the first part of this proposition. So again, we are starting with the angles are equal and the areas of the two parallelogram are equal. So we construct a parallelogram by extending the line AF and the line EC, and we have a parallelogram. Now, since AB is equal to BC, then the ratio of AB to EF will be equal to the ratio of BC to EF, since AB and BC are equal, and EF, of course, is equal. This is according to Proposition 7 of Book 5. So now we have our two parallelograms, AB to FE, is equal to db to be. What this is from proposition one of this book, if we have two parallelograms sharing two parallel lines, then the areas are proportional to their bases. So again, the areas of AB to FE will be equal to the, er the length of their bases, which is db and be. Similarly, since EF and CB share two parallel lines, then the ratio of the area BC to FE will be equal to the ratio of their bases BG to FB. And so now we have AB to FE is equal to DB to BE, but AB to FE is also equal to BC to EF, so if these two are equal, then these must also be equal. Proposition 11, book 5. So in the end, we have that db to be is equal to bg to bf. Or in other words, d 
db times bf is equal to bg times eb, which is reciprocally proportional. And so therefore, we have just shown or proved the first part of this proposition, that the sides of the parallelograms are reciprocally proportional. Carrying on to the second part of this proof, we start again with theta and alpha are equal, and in this case we start with the statement that the sides are reciprocally proportional. So again, very quickly, db to be is equal to gb to bf. We have the same parallelogram as we did in the first part of the proof. Now since db and be are the basis of two parallelograms that share two parallel lines, then the ratio of the bases is equal to the ratio of the areas. Similarly, two parallelograms sharing parallel lines, the area, sorry, the ratio of the bases is equal to the ratio of the areas. Again, we have that db to be and bg to be f are equal. That is our original assumption. So if these two are equal, these two ratios are equal. So we have that the area of AB, to the, ra the ratio of the area of AB to EF is equal to the ratio of BC to EF. Therefore, since EF is obviously equal to itself, the area of AB is equal to the area of BC. And thus we've shown that if the sides of the two parallelograms are reciprocally proportional and the angle is the same, then the area of the two parallelograms are also equal. And that concludes this proof.